Today I would like to show you how I create the bases for some of my bags. This is a question that I get fairly frequently and so today I am going to record exactly how it is I go about making these beautiful flat round sections of the bag before you start working up the sides. These ones are created without turning at the end of each round. This bag is one of my newer designs where I am turning at the end of the end of each round and you can see the clear difference in the way that the stitches look when you do not turn versus when you do turn. So to start, you need to make yourself a slip stitch and then you are going to work a foundation single crochet. Um, I do have a tutorial up of how to make a foundation single crochet if that is a new technique to you. I will make sure to link that in the description. But what you will do is you will make a foundation single crochet um, based off of whichever bag pattern of mine it is you are working on. Majority of them I believe call for 50 single crochet, um, but it can, it can really be anything just uh, depending upon the proportions of the bag design. I will just do about 10 to show you the stitch placement so that this way you understand how it is we create the two flat um, half circles on the sides. Okay, so here I've created 10 foundation single crochet stitches. And in my patterns, the first thing that I note is for you to place a stitch marker in that last stitch. So you place your stitch marker in your last foundation single crochet. And then using the base of that last stitch, you are going to place three single crochet stitches. This is where we are creating the turn. Oh, wait a minute, actually, hold on. Let's count back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I almost forgot to mention, you should mark your first stitch as well so you don't lose it should have noted that already. So you mark your first and your last stitch of your foundation single crochet. In my case, it's 10. You place three single crochet in the base of your last foundation single crochet. And then you are going to single crochet across the remaining foundation single crochets in the base. In this case, it's going to be nine stitches. So you single crochet across in your remaining nine stitches, and it's nine because we did 10 foundation single crochet, placed three in the base of the 10th stitch, and then we single crocheted across in the base of the foundation single crochet with the remaining nine. When you reach your last stitch, what you will do here is place another three single crochet stitches. So your final foundation single crochet will actually have a total of four single crochet stitches. Okay, now you should also, what you need to do before you finish off, well not finish off, before you move to the next round, you need to place a stitch marker, one, two, three, this is the last one and then also right here so this was our tenth stitch we're going to count one two three and place it in this fourth one so the marked stitches are the first and last stitch and then also the first and last on the other side so that in between you have three single crochet around that's creating our, our um, flat circles. We are then going to slip stitch to our first foundation single crochet, chain one, and place a single crochet in that first foundation single crochet. Remove your stitch marker, bring it up one stitch to mark now your first stitch of this next round. And then we are going to single crochet across in every stitch for a total of 10 stitches.
I'm going to place my single crochet in this 10th stitch, right? Because we had our first one and then this is our last marked stitch. So that makes 10 stitches across the side. Move this single crochet up. And now, uh, move the stitch marker up, I'm sorry. And now we have these three single crochet stitches. These three single crochet stitches act as half of a flat circle if you were crocheting a flat circle. So the first round of a flat circle is six single crochet stitches. To continue this, what we need to do is we are going to place two single crochet stitches in each of these three single crochet stitches for a total of six single crochet stitches. And so that is keeping this nice and flat. Single crochet in the next stitch, which is the first stitch on the flat portion of the side. Move your stitch marker up. And then continue single crocheting across for a total of 10 single crochet stitches on this second side. So now I have just worked my 10th stitch because that's where the stitch marker is. That's why these stitch markers are helpful. You can always count um, your stitches if you don't want to use stitch markers or don't have any, but it's just easier once, once you um, really kind of get into the groove of this that you have the stitch markers to just remind you that you've reached the point where you need to add your increased stitches to keep this um, cir circular part of the bag flat. So now that we've reached this last stitch and we've moved this stitch marker up, we are back to where we have three single crochet stitches again. So we will place two single crochet stitches in each of these three for a total of six to create the other side of the bag base. Oops. Um, with these increases to make sure that we keep it flat. So now that I've placed my two single crochet in each of these three, I have six single crochet stitches on this final side. It's important to at least mark your first stitch when you're doing this so that you don't end up working in your chain one space and potentially adding stitches along the way. So if you look here, you could definitely confuse your chain one with an extra stitch. Okay, so we slip stitch to our last stitch, chain one and place another single crochet in this first marked stitch. Remove your stitch marker and again, move it up into your next round. And then single crochet across for a total of 10 stitches. Okay, I'm reaching my 10th stitch. So again, remove your stitch marker and bring it up. And then just like the way that you would in a full flat circle, for the half circle, you are going to place um, this side, you're gonna do one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet in the next stitch and repeat that one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet for a total of nine single crochet on this side. So now you're back to your first marked stitch on your next side. Place one single crochet in that stitch. And again, move your stitch marker up. 
single crochet across for a total of 10 stitches. So coming to my last stitch, I'm going to single crochet in this 10th stitch or last stitch. Whoops. Move my stitch marker up. And now I'm going to create the other half of my flat circle on this side. So again, single crochet one and then two single crochet, single crochet one, single crochet two single crochet one, single crochet two, for a total of nine single crochets on this side in the flat circle, flat half circle portion, and then slip stitch, oops, slip stitch again to your first stitch. And now you're going to keep repeating what we've done in these last two rounds, which is chain one, single crochet in this first stitch, move up your stitch marker, single crochet across the flat side, and in this case it's 10 stitches, and then you will move on to this um, next half round circle, which in the third round it goes from, it goes two single crochet and then an increase in the third stitch, two single crochet, increase in the third stitch, two single crochet, increase in the third stitch. Just the same way, if, if you imagined that this middle portion wasn't here, you're essentially just splitting a flat circle in half. You can see that there. It just started pouring outside. Wow. Well, hopefully I'm gonna be able to brighten this video up for you. If it's nice and bright, then that means I was able to, and if it's kind of dark, I am sorry. <laughs> um, so this, this way I'm doing it without turning, which gives you these beautiful um, Vs on the front, on the, on the bag, so that it looks um, almost kind of knitted. In my cabled tote, on that one, I um, I actually turn at each each round on this, so it uh, looks. I don't have anything right here, so it looks a little bit different. But it's the same exact process of moving your stitch markers up along the way as you go. The side stitches right here um, always say stay the same. The only place that the stitch count changes when you're creating this flat portion of the bag with the center rectangular piece and then these two half circles the stitches only change the, the stitch counts only change on the circular edges but this always stays the same so you will always have in this case 10 stitches between your stitch markers in the case of most of my bags you would have 50 or 30 depending on on the design um, that number may change, but it's always going to remain the same throughout. And this, this, Let's put it that down. the Let's circular portion is the only spot that the stitch count changes. So I hope that this helps to clarify how it is that I make the base of some of my bags. Again, Again this one I was not turning on, so it has a more uniform look on each side. There's clearly a wrong side and a right side. Um, on some of my bags, I do call for you to turn at the end of each round and that changes the look of it, but the process to make the base is exactly the same. I hope this helped. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials, tricks, and tips to help you along the way with my crochet patterns or anybody else's. Thank you very much.